We have come to our sixth meditation for this Good Friday in our continuing vigil with our Lord as he suffers and dies for the atonement of our sins. From Psalm 39, O Lord, make me know my end, and what is the measure of my days? Let me know how fleeting I am. Behold, you have made my days a few handbreadths, and my lifetime is as nothing before you. Surely all mankind stands as a mere breath. Jesus is nearing the end of the ordeal. The end of his mortal life for our sakes. The end of many things. And he says, it is finished. Of course, what is finished? The life he first led in growing up, being a good son, <clears throat> finally being a good rabbi, lord, teacher, his three-year ministry of trying to teach us and show us how to live as children of God. That's all finished. That three-year ministry is now finished. The life is finished. More so, the sacrifice is just about complete. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world has just about finished that sacrifice that saves us, that reconciles us with God, that takes away our sin and the penalty for it. Would that it would take away our sinfulness, but it takes away the pain, the penalty, the price of that sin that we might live reconciled with God. That, too, is finished. We know, as the disciples did not know that day, that the best is yet to come. I'd like to think Jesus did, but certainly he had to feel finished as well. The shock, the pain the last of mortal life ebbing from that blessed body. The psalmist asks to know the number of days. We don't know the number of our days. We might as we near its end. Many of us won't. But there is a time when we too might cry out, it is finished. It is done. We've done all we can in this life. But just as with Christ, we know that there's more to come no matter how anguishing, anguishing, agonizing the end might be of this life. No matter how grief, much grief we feel for others when they find their end or we know we're approaching ours and we grieve for those we must leave. More is to come, as we will know in the seventh meditation. But at this point, so many things in Christ are finished. His life, his teaching at the time, but also finished is the sacrifice. The one by whose death we are healed and restored. As bittersweet as it is, may we still be able to say, thanks be to God. We may, in this time of pandemic, lose some loved ones and know that for them, it is finished. The time of being ill, the time of growing older, the time of growing less strong, 
The time of the challenges and toils of this life will be finished. But so too will that final time in Christ be achieved. Finished in this life, beginning in the next. Many things in Christ are finished. Thanks be to God. Amen. Lord, thank you for finishing so much in Jesus for us. The sacrifice, the atonement, the restoration. Help us to finish well. To finish the things you call us to do. To finish out this life in loving trust in you. Perhaps if we are called so to do, to help others to finish well in love, in encouragement, in reminding them of the atoning sacrifice of Jesus Christ. In whose name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> Calvary's mournful mountain climb there adoring at his feet mark that miracle of time god's own sacrifice complete it is finished hear him cry learn of jesus christ to die.